My phone is so dry that the person who I blocked three weeks ago still comes up as the first person to share things when I airdrop something. And that right there, people, really does embarrass me. It really does pull on my dignity. It really does pull on my flat ass. Like, no, I don't still think about you, but my phone says otherwise. So do I still think about you? I'm kidding. No, I'm not that pathetic. You know what I hate? Profile pictures. I swear they get me every time. Like today, I was going through my comments when all of a sudden I came across a profile picture of a fine ass man. And like any desperate person would have done, I went to his page to see if I had a chance, which I probably didn't, but him commenting under my video was him basically proposing. So I went to his page with the thought of our babies already in my mind when I got struck with instant disappointment. Because instead of seeing a beautiful man with a shirt off like I was hoping for, I saw a Roblox account. So yeah, I'm still single and yeah, they're still blocked. one month into school and i already got rejected which is okay i'm used to the pain but i have a class with this guy and looking into the eyes of rejection is hard but trying not to cry whenever i look into those beautiful eyes is even harder and listen he wasn't even supposed to find out that i wanted him but no my friend decided to tell him and show him my instagram and you know what this guy said when he saw it he said and i quote i'll pass which made me almost pass out from embarrassment but it's okay i only wanted him because he looked like my ex anyway so <laughs> i still want him Guess what? A guy asked for my number, but not just any guy, an ugly guy. Yeah, embarrassing. But hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to discriminate here. Ugly people still need love too. In fact, a little more than others. But the problem isn't that he's ugly. Well, it kind of is, but hear me out. I'm ugly, he's ugly, to which will only make our future kid the ugliest animal in the world, and I can't do that to my future kid. No. So while I was kindly rejecting the monster that was hitting on me, I was also saving the life of my unborn child. I'm such a good mother. So my friends have been asking me why I spent so much money on a guy I'm not even dating for his birthday and it's because I need to buy his love and affection. Don't you get it? What else am I supposed to do? Ugly people like me don't have the luxury to get cute guys to like them just based on their looks and it so happens that I'm the ugly person so I have to resort to money in order to make him want to stay and don't judge me people. Desperate times call for desperate measures and I so happen to be a, a desperate bitch. <laughs> okay. Today, I took the time to look around my school, and after seeing all of my options, I was a little disappointed because there was no guys left for me to date. I'm over here picking through scraps like I was a dog. In fact, most of the guys here look like dogs, and last time I checked, I was not at an animal shelter. But listen, not all of these guys are ugly, but I know my worth, and I'm not worthy of some of the cute guys here. They're just way out of my league, so I gotta stick to my level, and unfortunately, that's the ugly level, but that's okay. All I gotta do is close my eyes, and I'm good to go. Today, I'm not in a silly, goofy mood, and that's because a guy I wanted the most doesn't want me back. Now, I think we all saw that one coming, but it still hurts, because at one point, he did want me, but now he doesn't, which tells you all you need to know about my annoying personality that drives people away. So, I'm over here hurting, because he was cute with an amazing sense of humor. He got me thinking about our baby names, but now, <laughs> he got me thinking about my funeral, because I just can't seem to live without him. <laughs> and no, I'm not being dramatic, people. Where are you? On my workbench, Morty. Are you invisible and you're gonna like fart on me? Flip the pickle over. What, I'm gonna touch it and you're gonna tell me it's an alien dick or something? Come on, flip the pickle, Morty. You're not gonna regret it, the payoff is huge. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! I've been getting a lot of compliments lately and it's a little bit suspicious because who put you up to this? Who do you work for? How are you gonna call me pretty when you see my left lash hanging onto my eyelid for dear life and my foundation cracking like the ground of an earthquake? At this point when people compliment me, I think it's either three things. They're being sarcastic, they're complimenting me out of pity, or they have really low standards, but whatever the case may be, they need to stop because I'm getting a little bit too confident and at this rate, I'ma feel so pretty, I might just ask a guy out, make the first move, I know crazy, but it's not me, it's the compliments getting to my
have a problem, an addiction that I just can't control, and it's that I'm addicted to grabbing ass, especially the boys. It's always fun to see how they react. Will they cry? Will they laugh? Will they knock me upside the head and push me down the stairs? The possibilities are endless. Do I squeeze it? Do I choke it? Do I place four fingers gently under the crevice of the butt cheek and push down lightly? The possibilities are endless. I've done this multiple times already and I haven't gotten arrested yet. But if I do, just know I'll do it again. You can try to take the ass out of me, but the me will never get out of the ass. I complain about not having a boyfriend all the time, but to be honest, do I really want one? Do I really want the misery, the stress, the inconvenience that comes with having a boyfriend, or do I really just want to have a hot body to lay on all night? So many questions, but so little answers. So I think I'm just going to be the responsible person that I am and continue to flirt with guys while avoiding a relationship, because why commit to something when I can commit to no one? And yes, maybe I am saying all of this just so I can make myself feel better about the fact that I can't even get a boyfriend if I tried, and believe me, believe me, I've tried countless Dear Santa, I want a boyfriend for Christmas. I've been nice all year because I don't have a boyfriend to be naughty with, so please fix that problem and leave a man underneath the tree for me. If he's ugly, then I'm taking him back. If he's still stuck on his ex, then I'm taking him back. If he has a lot of money, then I'm taking him back into my bedroom so we can be alone. But the only alone one here is me, so you can see why this problem needs to be fixed. So fix my life, Santa, and while you're at it, fix your bad eating habits. Gluttony is a sin, so it seems like you've been the naughty one this year, Santa. No one wants to date me, and that's okay, but hearing my friend complain about having too many people who likes her, and how I should be lucky that I don't have any guy problems, really makes me want to smack that idiot in the face. Because first off, I do have guy problems, and it's called not having any guys. Something she doesn't have to worry about. In fact, she has so many options that she cut them all off, which is a luxury I do not have, but then keeps the one who might be a hoe. She may be pretty, but she sure is a dumbass, so all I gotta say is I hope she gets played. I want her to feel the rejection us ugly people go through on a daily basis. I'm so sorry. I got dumped, not really because he wasn't my boyfriend, but we were getting there. I was this close to getting myself a holiday boo thing, but just like always, it never happens. Now, I don't want to say that I'm the problem, but the cycle has been going on for quite some time now that I'm starting to feel a little bit stupid. But most importantly, I feel lonely. Who's gonna be my valentine? Who's gonna be my prom date? Who's gonna be my husband? Am I gonna be single all my life? No, somebody is gonna be my lawfully wedded partner, even if that somebody has to be you. So watch out, baby. You may be the last resort, but at least you're an option. I can't wait for our wedding night. I needed a little bit of male validation and that's exactly why I posted on snap. Hey, a few compliments won't hurt. I'm all about feminism, but I'm also all about the validation. What's wrong with being called pretty by a couple of thirsty guys? Yeah, they were just calling me pretty in hopes of getting a chance to freaky sticky me, but I like to think they were just being nice. Listen people, male validation is a form of self-care, so let's not judge people in their time of need. Instead, let's just hope that I'll overcome their sickening sickness and turn out alright. Now, was that the last time I'll ever post for male validation? Don't ever ask me that idiotic question again, you- Muscle man, have you seen Pops at all today? Yeah, and you know who else has seen Pops today? Who? Your mom? I wasn't gonna say that! Why does everyone always think I'm gonna say my mom? I need some drama in my life because as of right now, I have nothing going on. I have no boyfriend, no enemies, no big bad problems I need to figure out. It's just me and my thoughts and that gets pretty boring. So I think I want to get into a fight. I just might walk up to some random person and slap the shit out of them. Then it's going down and I'm not talking about my ass when I twerk the pain away. But tell me, does it seem like I can fight? Because I can, home dog. I'll pull out my Glock and ra da 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 So yeah, no wonder I can't keep a guy for more than a week. <laughs> I'm obsessing over somebody yeah. who just show me so exciting yet depressing because here's what's gonna happen. And he's gonna like me, but soon find out that I'm too annoying. Leave me, and then I'm back to square one, but the square is getting smaller and smaller while my ass is getting flatter and flatter. Do you see the problem? Do you see the reason why I cry a lot? But it's okay, because this one is not happening. Plus, I got some notes and a bunch of dust to just make me go aside to the left, but I can not see the happening. But this one, I'm not gonna show you how to do it after the next one, so I know you.